Imagine if you could complete multiple tasks at work simultaneously and efficiently. Think of it like multitasking, but you get everything done smoothly instead of being stressed out from everything on your plate. You'd have more time for yourself to do other stuff. At the same time, you get to relax more because you know things are done or at least in the process of completion. And that's probably the summary of what Intel's new 13th gen laptop processors can do. What up guys, Miguel here from Yugatech, and today we're talking about the new 13th gen Intel H-series laptop processors. Often found in gaming laptops like this new 2023 Acer Nitro 16. While processors might be intended for gaming, it goes beyond that. So, roll the OBB. Intel's made several improvements to the new 13th gen H-series CPUs over their already popular 12th gen processors. The majority of these upgrades are in terms of the speed and efficiency of the cores. Specifically, this new generation of processors now uses the 10 nanometer process, allowing them to handle more demanding tasks. Not to mention, they also consume less power than its predecessors. As for the overall structure, there are not a lot of changes to the design itself. The new 13th gen core H-series processors are still based on Intel's new hybrid architecture design, introduced in the 12th gen core processors, combining performance and efficiency cores. The result? The new 13th gen processors are ideal for gaming, video and photo editing, as well as other resource-intensive activities. But it's one thing to talk about the chip's performance on paper. To show you how impressive the new 13th gen Core H-series processors are, we have this new 2023 Acer Nitro 16 gaming laptop powered by a 13th gen Core i7 H-series chipset to try out. The 2023 Nitro 16 is not a flagship gaming laptop from Acer's gaming lineup, but that doesn't mean it lacks power. This particular unit packs a 13th gen Intel Core i7 13700H chipset clocked in at a base 2.4 gigahertz, together with 16 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, one terabytes of fast SSD storage, and an NVIDIA RTX 3050 GPU. The H in the 13700 means it's intended for high performance like gaming and content creation. However, there are higher end models like the HK and the flagship HX. The one we have may not be the flagship HX chipset, but after using this laptop, we didn't find it lacking at all. It ran most of our work tasks here at Yugatech with ease, like editing photos in Lightroom, editing and exporting videos in Premiere, and many more. Not to mention, we were also able to play our favorite games without any issues. To give you an idea, we were able to easily run Lightroom, Photoshop, several tabs of Google Chrome, and even listen to music on Spotify with a game running in the background all at the same time. And despite all of this, we did not experience the laptop slowing down. More importantly, it rendered high resolution photos from Lightroom very quickly as well. And to give you a better idea of the laptop's performance, we ran several benchmarks you can check out here. No doubt, they're very impressive numbers. But wait, you might be thinking, isn't this a gaming laptop? Well, yes. We mainly played Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2.0, CSGO, and Honkai Star Rail. Not surprisingly, it handled the games very well despite having an older NVIDIA RTX 3050 GPU. In Call of Duty, we set the graphic settings to what the game recommended and we were able to average around 130 frames per second constantly in the game. And no, the graphics were not set to the lowest. Both the CPU and GPU weren't having a hard time handling the games either. They didn't get too hot nor were the CPU and GPU overworked. And you can see the real-time temperatures and various PC parameters in the upper corner of the screen. Since this is Call of Duty, which is quite CPU and GPU intensive, we can only imagine how the frame rate would be when playing Valorant or other less resource intensive shooters. As for Honkai Star Rail, we set the graphics settings to the highest and it ran the game without any issues. 
There were no frame rate drops even when we were going around the Hertha space station, which is known for giving systems FPS drops. Heck, the fans weren't even on constantly as we were playing. Do note that for the benchmarks and gaming tests, the Nitro 16 was plugged in in performance mode and in an air-conditioned room. As with most gaming laptops, don't expect the same performance when you're running solely on the battery. In conclusion, we really enjoyed our time using the 2023 Acer Nitro 16, and I've been impressed with everything that the 30th gen Intel Core processor can do. Game, work, and more. All in one neat compact design. Since the new processor is very efficient, you can do a lot at the same time, wherever you may be. But if you want more performance and aren't afraid to spend, there are several models available on the market powered by the new 13th gen Intel Core processors, especially the top spec HX models. You can check them out on the official websites of various manufacturers. Just make sure they're the ones powered by the 13th gen Intel Core processors. So that's about it for this video. What do you guys think of Intel's latest 13th gen core processors? We were certainly impressed by what the i7-13700H can do, and we can only imagine how much faster and powerful the top spec i9-13980HX chipset is. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads. Be sure to visit Yugitech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Miguel, and I'll see you in the next one.